happy Easter holidays, whether this is the middle weekend of your two, three week break or the first weekend of your two or three week break. Hopefully you are thinking about revising um, because exams are coming up pretty quickly at the moment and we do start need to start doing stuff. Now, it is a bit weird this time because you you're out of school but you still need to do a load of work and you've probably never been in this situation before so here is a super easy way to do this now as you may have noticed i'm a big fan of making plans for stuff making revision timetables like this which you can get on my website there's loads of them are a brilliant thing to do but I know it's not for everyone because the idea of being given a blank ish sheet and being told to fill it in like with the times of what you're doing when can be a little bit intimidating so this is a super simple really really easy way to not have to do this, don't support me while buying my stuff. Um, to not have to actually plan your own timetable, but to have a really, really effective and really, really useful holiday where you're not wasting time. And the super easy thing is just to stick to your school timetable. Yeah, it's not genius, it's not revolutionary, just stick to your school timetable. So maybe, you know, give yourself a bit of a lie and don't get up when you'd normally have to go and get the bus or get in the car or walk to school. But you can skip registration as well, we don't have to do that. But the time that your first lesson would start, so like nine, five past nine, quarter past nine, whatever that subject is, maths first thing on a Monday morning, do an hour, 45 minutes of maths revision first thing on a Monday morning. Now there are obviously some subjects you can skip. I'm not going to tell you you have to go and do an hour's worth of hockey when you should be doing PE. It is useful to take that time that you would be doing PE or PSHE or whatever subject it is that you don't actually have an exam on and say, no, 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 what I'm going to do is to use this time usefully to look after my mental health. So maybe it is going for a walk or taking the dog for a walk or doing some mindfulness or some yoga or something useful to look after your mental health. But please, please, please do not sleep until mid midday and then study until midnight. That's just a really, really bad cycle to get your body into. And then when we go back to school in a couple of weeks' time, your body's going to be completely out of whack and it's going to take you a while to get used to it. Over some holidays, you are free to sleep as late as you want to and as much as you want to, but now is not the time. Okay, and I'm really, really sorry. Obviously, you don't have to do like the commute to school and registration, so you do get a bit of a lie in. Um, but don't get into the habit of sleeping really late and don't get into the habit of revising for hours in the evening. Revising for hours in the evening is bad, it is not good. If you just stick to your school timetable, you are doing five, six good hours of revision a day and that's really all you need to do over these holidays. You don't need to be putting in 10 hour days, you don't need to be putting in 12 hour days, you don't need to be revising until three o'clock in the morning. That's not good, that's not healthy. Do your nine till three or your nine till four and then have the evening off to go out with your friends or watch rubbish on Netflix or whatever it is you want to do. You do not have to be putting in crazy, crazy hours and working crazy, crazy loads. Work smart, work sensible, do not work so hard that you're burnt out because we, we're we not at exams yet. Um, we still have a little bit of time to go. So work your school hours, have the evenings off, try and get a good night's sleep. Yeah, I know, this is all for me saying this. Um, and then start afresh the next day and give yourself weekends off. We are not at school. This is just time to revise. Now, I know like loads of school probably giving exam papers to practice revising. You can use my predicted exam papers to practice revising my workbooks, my videos. There are loads and loads of stuff that I'm doing for you. Try and keep it low key. Do your five, six hours, stick to your school timetable and then have the afternoons off. Um, enjoy some holidays, enjoy some holidays, enjoy the Easter holidays, look forward to some holidays. Uh, I'm going to be here with you every single step of the way, guys. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.